Hi everyone, welcome to the RP Resonance Commission. Today I am going to discuss about uh, 2020 JE mains September 2nd first chemi first shift chemistry paper discussion. Okay, today we are going to deal with JE mains uh, chemistry September 2nd first paper discuss first shift paper discussion. So this is the first question. So which uh, the questions are maybe random. Okay, this is only memory based questions. Uh, it is mainly based on the memory based questions not the direct direct uh, question paper questions okay now here which matter is used in devising the photochemical cell so generally photochemical cells uh, the, the method which is used in the photochemical cell that having the lowest ionization enthalpy that th those kind of metals are only used so among the four so top to bottom ionization and uh, ionization enthalpy is decreases so top to bottom so cesium having the lowest ionization enthalpy lowest ionization enthalpy is that's why it is used in the photochemical cell that's why it is used in the photochemical cell now let's move on to the second question now the second question that is a uh, three moles of o2 and five moles of ar are present in a closed container find some of the internal energy in terms of rt so this is a, a gaseous state question so now three moles of o2 one is the di diatomic another another one is argon that is a uh, monoatomic so the monoatomic uh, internal energy delta u formula is equal to three by two into an rt like a diatomic is nothing but uh, delta u is equal to phi by 2 into nrt phi by 2 into nrt so let's uh, uh, substitute those n values that is nothing but number of moles here monoatomic gases that is uh, argon 5 moles that's why here 3 by 2 into 5 into rt okay now here diatomic this is o2 this is ar okay now here 5 by 2 into number of moles of o2 is 3 only 3 rt so this is 3 rt now here 3 phi is a 15 by 2 RT they are asked in RT that is uh, that's why in terms of RT that's why we don't want to substitute those values now here also 15 by 2 into RT 15 by 2 into RT so they are asking about to find some of their internal energy so some of their internal energy is nothing but O2 and argon internal energy 15 by 2 RT plus 15 by 2 RT so that is equal to the like uh, 15 RT that is equal to the 15 RT very pretty easy question from physical chemistry okay now let's move on to the third question so the option number uh, like a uh, 15 RT is correct option okay so we don't know whether it is first option or second option or third option uh, this is only memory based questions okay among the following properties which property trend is different from across a period okay now generally we know that uh, across a period they are asking about only period so now here atomic radius so left to right uh, it is decreases now electronegativity increases why because it is fluorine is more uh, due to the effective nuclear charge electronegativity increases now the third one electron gain enthalpy are also increases now ionization enthalpy are also increases ionization enthalpy are also increases that's why so atomic radius is the different from the remaining three so this is the third one this is the third one now let's move on to the remaining ones okay now let's move on to the next questions this is if compound ab4 is a polar covalent molecule then possible geometry is then possible geometry is they are given in the four options okay now let us uh, discuss the ab4 type so ab4 according to the vesper theory we have the four types of geometry 4 plus 0 4 this is sp3 tetrahedral geometry like uh, or 4 plus 1 5 sp3 dehybridization then it is a sisa shisa geometry or 4 plus 2 that is 6 sp3 d2 hybridization then it is square planar geometry square planar geometry okay according to the question a b4 is a polar covalent molecule it is a polar covalent molecule so polar polarity is nothing but a, so here it is the square planar it is an it is a non-polar moiety so it is a cancel to each other that's why square planar is ruled out again uh, tetrahedral let's discuss the ccl4 so it is the a non non-polar moiety why because it all the chlorine atoms will uh, equally will, uh, will equally pulls the electron cloud towards itself that's why it is also non-planar so that means 4 plus 0 is non-planar, square planar absolutely is non-planar. So the remaining one is CISA. If there is, uh, some of the students said about, uh, so CISA is not there, so trigonal bipyramidal is there, okay. So according to the trigonal bipyramidal or CISA, so it is the shape of molecule is a CISA, but geometry is a trigonal bipyramidal, okay. So if CISA is not there, TBP is correct. If CISA is there, CISA is correct answer, okay. Now let's move on to the next question. That is nothing but num question number 5. Okay, so that is an example of solid salt. Solid salt is nothing but solid in solid. So among the four, which is a solid in solid composition? So butter, uh, it is not a solid in solid composition. Direct question, gemstone is the solid in solid. 
So gemstone is solid in solid. So solid phase in solid medium. Solid phase in solid medium. That is the gemstones are best examples. Okay. Now let's move on. To, I, I don't want to go for the like a, a simple points. Now the next one is which of the following statement about ozone is incorrect. So they are given in the incorrect statement. So please careful about whether it is correct or incorrect. It is incorrect. Okay. Ozone acts as a protective layer against UV rays. So and absolutely it is correct. Now again, it is a toxic layer and it converts into NO2, NO2. It is also correct statement. Now finally, it acts as a seal to our atmosphere. It is absolutely correct. Now what about third point? It converts chlorine free radicals to chlorine free radical of chlorofluorocarbons to chlorine dioxide. Whether it is possible or not. Let's move on to the like a CF to Cl2. This is chlorofluoro. Uh, carbons so under UV light composition it gives the chlorine radical as well as a CF2 radical CF2 radical now here the chlorine radical which are treated with a uh, ozone and it forms the chlorine monoxide as well as O2 chlorine monoxide as well as O2 now again chlorine monoxide uh, again it is uh, furtherly treated with oxygen uh, like nascent oxygen it forms the chlorine radical as well as O2 okay generally Chlor chlorofluorocarbons which is treated with UV light it produces the chlorine monoxide instead of chlorine dioxide but they are given in the chlorine dioxide so that's why this is the correct incorrect statement so according to the question the incorrect statement is the C incorrect statement is C now let's move on to the, some other questions okay now the next question is uh, seventh what is the product of reaction of ammonia with uh, bleaching powder so now we know that so ammonia which is treated with bleaching powder CaOCl2 we will get a CaCl2 plus water moiety as well as N2 white okay so now which is the correct option so uh, we will get the three moles of water when we use the two moles of ammonia so the common product is the N2 so among the four options N2 is the correct this is the direct question okay now fourth flotation process is used for the concentration of uh, which one so generally fourth flotation is used for the concentration of sulfide was this is the like uh, NCRT one, one of the best question from NCRT okay now uh, it is a theory based question also okay now let's move on to the ne next question a compound and heating with the a compound A and heating with gives gas B, okay, which is the major constituent of air, which has the major constituent of air. They are given in the hint. So, and reaction with the hydrogen gives basic nature of compound. It gives the basic nature of compound. The compound A cannot be, which is not, uh, which one among the following options, which one cannot act as A? That is the question. Okay, now let us discuss the all the equations. That is a PB. So it is PB and O3 taken twice. And O3 taken twice. Next, uh, um, ammonium nitrite, like uh, NH4 taken twice, Cr2O7, NaNH3. Okay, whenever these are under the heating condition, so it produces the N2 plus sodium. Now it produces the N2 plus Cr2O3 plus water mighty. Okay, now the remaining are uh, byproducts. Now here also it produces the N2 plus uh, ammonia. Okay, so it produces the N2 plus ammonia, but here it produces only PbO plus, which is NO2 mite, PbO plus NO2 mite. So among all the four reactions, the N2 is common. So they are given in the one hint, so which has the, uh, it gives the gas B, that is a major constituent of A. So the major constituent of A is a nitrogen. So the remaining three are produces the nitrogen, but A cannot produces the uh, nitrogen. That's why, so. 3B and O3 taken twice, uh, lead dinitrate is the correct option. Okay, now let's move on to the next questions. Okay, now this is the 10th, 11th, 12th question. So, which method is used for the preparation of colloidal solution? Okay, so generally, Mons process, it is not used for the like a colloidal solution, it is used for the like inorganic. You know, okay, Van Arkel method, Hoops method, so Bridig Sox method. So, generally, Bridig Sox method is used for the like preparation of colloidals, especially like a low reactive noble elements that is silver or gold, like a 
its uh, its compounds copper this type of low reactive elements this type of low reactive elements it is used for the colloidal solution preparation now next question is when one mole of crcl3 6h2o so this is the composition crcl3 6h2o so it is treated with an excess of agno3 excess of agno3 it produces three moles of agcl it produces three moles of agcl so then what is the complex then the complex will be okay so now they are given in the certain solution the certain uh, mixer so which is treated with a uh, excess of agno3 we will get three moles of agcl so generally so one mole of agno3 will give us one mole of agcl precipitation okay so if two moles of agno3 gives two moles of agcl precipitation if three moles of agno3 it gives the three moles of agcl so the that indicates so excess of agno3 that uh, re reacted with uh, three moles of uh, cl3 so that indicates uh, three moles of uh, chlorine atoms present in the outside of the coordination sphere so if three chlorines are outside so the remaining composition is h2o3 times h2o6 times h2o6 times so this is the composition very simple so three chlorines will pre uh, precipitate will uh, precipitate uh, three moles of agcl so then comp compound b is correct then compound b is correct now the next one is next one uncertainty of uh, a 0 0.25 gram particle it is uh, 10 to the power minus 5 mass then uncertainty of uh, its velocity they are asking about uh, what is the uncertainty of a particular particle with respect to the velocity we know that Heisenberg uncertainty principle that is nothing but delta x into delta p is equal to h by 4 pi okay now p is equal to uh, like mass into velocity delta x is equal to m into delta b so h by 4 pi so they are given in the mass as well as uncertainty in position as well as h value we know that h and the pi values now we want to find the delta b value delta b is equal to h by 4 pi into delta x into m delta x into m so now here h value we know that 6.636 into 10 to the power minus 34 joules now 4 into 3.14 into so what is the uncertainty of position the uncertainty of position is the 10 to the power minus 5 again the particle mass is equal to mass of the particle is equal to 0 0.25 grams that is in in terms of kilojoules it is a 10 to the power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 so now here 4 into 0 0.25 approximately it is uh, not approximately it is equal to the 1 okay 4 into 0 0.25 1 so that's why it is cancelled now here 3.14 6.636 so it is approximately equal to the 2 times so 2 point something 2.1 times so now here minus 5 minus 3 that is equal to the minus 8 so whenever denominator value will shift it to the numerator it, its sign will be changed then 10 to the power minus 34 plus 8 that is nothing but 10 to the power minus 26 2.1 into 10 to the power minus 26 so this is the answer okay so among the four so one of the option is correct okay now let's move on to the uh, some other some other problems so now let's move on to the physical as well as uh, organic properties okay now the next question is a graph between log xm by log xm versus log b has a slope uh, 2 and then that is equal to 0 0.447 then find the x by m at present 4 atmosphere at a 4 atmosphere present now this is related to the surface surface chemistry question we know that uh, like it is um, x by m is equal to k into p power 1 by n okay whenever log them on both side log of x by m so which is equal to the log a into b that seems to be log a plus log b log p power 1 by n we know that log a power m that is equal to m log a so this is log k plus 1 by n into log p okay now here log of x by m so this is the equation from this equation which seems to be y is equal to m x c so this is slope intersection formula so from this equation so here it is a, y is nothing but log of x by m now again x is equal to log of p now this is the equation now we will get the 1 by n is equal to slope slope is equal to 1 by n so 1 by n is equal to value 2 then n value is equal to 1 by 2 okay if n is equal to 1 by n is equal to 2 then n is equal to 1 by 2 from the equation slope is equal to so the log k is the slope log k slope is equal to log k log k value is 0 0.447 so k is equal to anti log of 0 0.447 the approximate value of anti log of 0 0.447 is equal to 3 okay now we know that k value as well as n value then directly find the like our required value that is nothing but uh, x by m value so they are asking about uh, find the x by m value x by m is equal to k into p power 1 by n okay now here k value we know that 3 so pressure what is the atmospheric pressure so they are asking about uh, at a 4 atmosphere pressure 4 
by 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 is nothing but the square root, 3 into square root of 4. So we know that 3 square root of 4 is equal to 2. Why? Because 2 square, 2 square cancelled. So 3 2s are 6. 3 2s are 6. Among the four options, 6 is correct. Among the four options, 6 is correct. Now let's move on to the another problem that is related to the like a gaseous state. So which of the following graph is incorrect for an ideal gas? Which of the following statement is incorrect for an ideal gas? Okay. Now the next question is, which of the following graph is incorrect for an ideal gas? This is related to the ideal gas question. Okay. Now we know that ideal gas equation, PV is equal to NRT, per 1 mole PV is equal to RT. Okay. Now we know that uh, density formula, density is equal to mass by volume. So in case of volume is equal to mass by density. Let us substitute these values over there. So now here PM by D is equal to RT. Okay, now uh, like a D is uh, shifted to the right side, DRT, PM is equal to DRT, this is the equation. They are asking about, they are given in the like X and Y axis, uh, D and T, D and 1 by T, D and T. So which is the incorrect, okay. Now D and T, that indicates uh, here density is equal to PM by RT. So now here D is equal to PM by R, it is the constant, now 1 by T. So from the equation, we will get the D into D versus 1 by T graph. So this is the D versus 1 by T graph, like we will get the a straight line. Okay, D versus 1 by T, we will get the straight line as well as D by T. So if D value increases, T value decreases, then we will get the hyperbola curve. So these two are possible. These two are possible. But uh, D versus T, this is inversely proportionality. So that's why we cannot able to get the like a straight line. So we cannot able to get the a straight line curve from the like uh, ideal gas equation. That's why. So among the three, among these three, which is incorrect, that indicates D versus T graph, which does not gives the like a straight line. So the C is incorrect. C is incorrect. Now let's move on to the final question. It is pretty easy a question from electrochemistry. So for the cell reaction, they are given in the copper plus a stain, a stannous plus two. We'll use phrase to copper plus two stannous. So that indicates copper which can oxidize to copper plus two with the loss of two electrons, as well as stannous plus two which gains the two electrons and it forms the stannous. Now overall reaction is equal to the above reaction. Overall reaction is equal to the above reaction. Now we know that uh, E naught values, E naught value for the copper. So the copper, copper plus two value is nothing but 0 0.34. Now again E naught value for stannous plus two that is minus 0 0.16, minus 0 0.16. Now we know that, so wherever the oxidation takes place, those values we will convert the corresponding redu reduction potential. Now here copper can undergo the oxidation. That's why here we require the change of sign. So now we will get the E naught cell standard E naught value that is equal to the minus 0 0.50, minus 0 0.50. From the question, according to the question, so for the following reaction for Gibbs free energy, now we know that Gibbs free energy formula that is delta G is equal to minus N of E cell, minus N of E cell, minus N number of moles of, uh, number of electrons are transferred here, not the number of moles, number of electrons are transferred here, two electrons are transferred, two into, so Faraday is equal to 6,500 into, standard chemical shift back, standard uh, E naught e value is equal to minus 0 0.50. So 2 into minus 0 0.50, 1 minus into minus plus, then 96,500 joules. So it is approximately equal to the 96, 96.5 kilojoules. So this is the 15th question. Now let's move on to the like uh, organic question. Uh, these are the organic questions from uh, shift one uh, september 2nd okay now here this is the like 16th question 17th question 18th and 19th questions from uh, shift one so according to the 16th question benzyl amine may be alkylated as shown below okay now here benzyl amine which treated with alkyl halide which gives the like uh, alkylated benzyl amine alkylated benzyl amine so among the following four al uh, like alkylated or aromatic uh, benzyl uh, alkyl halides which is uh, readily reacts with uh, sn1 mechanism which is readily reacts with uh, our amine through the sn1 mechanism so generally sn1 mechanism is nothing but uh, so here it is the compound which produces the corresponding like a uh, stable carbocation then followed by the like uh, either front attack or back attack of nucleophile will get the racemic mixture so that indicates so it which compound which produces more stable carbocation that is more stable that is uh, like a more predominant product that is more predominant product so that's why here it is the methyl carbocation from option number one so here it is the phenyl phenyl carbocation it is very unstable this is rolled out now here it is benzyl carbocation so benzylic carbocation is more stable so that's why it is more when compared to the, these two finally ethyl ethyl c2h5 cation so 
methyl ethyl ethyl is better ethyl and benzyl benzyl is better so finally so benzylic carbocation is more stable so that's why it is readily participated in the our uh, benzylamine reaction benzylamine alkylation okay now let's move on to the next question so this is the benzyl is correct answer now let's move on to the next question okay now the, uh, like a 17th question this is the simple reaction which is the correct product Please. Okay, now let's move on to the next question that is 17th question. So here it is the simple alkene. Okay, alkene which is treat undergoing the hydrolysis reaction which is the major product. Now, so here it is the alkene. So alkene can undergo the like first of all electrophilic addition. So it it is a two two criteria. Now it is a shifted like a A side or B, B side. Okay, now it shifted towards the A side. Now we will get the like more stable carbocation. So here it is the negative, here it is the positive. So the negative will obstruct the proton, then it becomes CH3. It is the carbocation. So this is the more stable carbocation from alkene. This is the more stable carbocation. So due to the more stable carbocation, it readily attacks the, this type of this kind of uh, resonance. This kind of resonance. Now here it is the more stable carbocation so those more stable carbocation will participate in the like rearrangement reactions or ring fragmentation reaction so here it is the five member it is uh, less stable than the six member that's why it undergoes the ring fragmentation reaction now here it is the first second third fourth five sixth okay so now it it gives the like a ring extend ring extension reaction ring expansion reaction now first second third fourth fifth sixth so the first position having the methyl now the second position having the methyl group now the remaining all are same but uh, here it lost the electron from second carbon that's why second will get the positive charge second will get the positive charge so those positive charge which is in attacked by the nucleophile now we will get the this kind of product oh oh so among the four which is correct so one and two methyl groups having the met, uh, like alcohol functionality option number c is correct option number c is correct now let's move on to the another question that is uh, question number 18 so here it is a direct question from the NCRT textbook. So the correct structure of Dettol is, okay. Now we know that uh, the correct structure of Dettol, it is a phenol derivative. So it is, it contains 99% of the phenol derivative. So phenol, it having the third and fourth position two methyl groups. So 3,5 dimethyl as well as fourth position is chlorine, okay. 3,5 dimethyl, four chlorophenol is nothing but Dettol. So this is the correct structure. Among the four, the correct structure is a C. So this is the correct structure regarding to the Dettol. Now the final question, IUPAC nomenclature, pretty easier problem. So the correct IUPAC of the compound. So they are given in the, this kind of question. So this is the COOH, now here double bond, here it is the aldehyde. So according to the seniority order, so carboxylic acid is more senior, that's why those carboxylic acid functionality will get the least priority. So that's why numbering started here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Four, five, six. So this is the substituent. So aldehyde is the substituent, methyl is the substituent, alkene is the substituent. Now here it is the six numbered carboxylic acid that is a uh, hexanoic acid. Okay, hex. So here it is the third position having the ene, simply three hexene oic acid. So this is the compound of three hexene oic acid. Now the substituents, uh, second position is methyl, fifth position is uh, formyl. Okay, simply it is a uh, two meth uh, five formyl. 5-formyl, 2-methyl, 3-hexene oic acid or hex-3-in oic acid. Now among the four options, 5-formyl, 2-methyl, hex-3-in oic acid. Uh, directly it is given the option B. Okay, now uh, let us check the remaining options. 2-methyl, 5-oxo, hexene, 3-in oic acid, it is wrong. Now again, 2,5-dimethyl, it is wrong. Why? Well, because there is no dimethyl functionality. Now 2,5-dimethyl, here also wrong. There is no dimethyl functionality. That's why option number B is correct. Now let us discuss the some other problems in shift one regarding to the organic pop. Okay, now these are the next problems. This is question number 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, now here it is the find the number of chiral centers in Pensley. Okay, so this is the uh, like a very easier question from NCRT textbook as well as uh, so commonly used questions in uh, J mains or NEET. Uh, this is the Pensley as well as cholesterol. 
okay cholesterol having the eight chiral centers penicillin having the only three chiral centers now here it is the four different groups that's why it is one chiral center so here also four different groups it is one another chiral center so here also four different groups it is also another chiral center so it is there is no chiral center there is no chiral center so the penicillin having the three chiral centers cholesterol having the eight chiral centers this is the common most example from the stereochemistry okay now let's move on to the another question so this is the glucose so pretty like a uh, talent based questions uh, here it is the asking about uh, this type of these kind of questions from glucose very interesting okay now glucose treated with hno3 so first of all we know we know the like uh, reactions and the re uh, reagents of uh, glucose so this is the hno3 so it is a strong oxidizing agent that indicates so top of the aldehyde group and the bottom of the alcohol group both becomes uh, so this is the four both becomes a carboxylic acid both becomes a carboxylic acid this is simply it is called as a uh, glucaric acid now whenever it treated with ac2o only alcohols now this is the structure of glucose only alcohols can get the like uh, acylated can get the acylated that's why it gives the penta acylated products penta acylated products okay now the finally so h2 nickel that means uh, first of all aldehyde gets a uh, reduce CH2OH CHOH four times now CH2OH this is the like all becomes alcohols then it is simply it is called as a sorbitol okay sorbitol will treat it with a further uh, like acyl acylation it, it gets the like a hexa acylated product why because all the alcohols gets acylated so CH2OAC CH2OAC four times CH2OAC this is the reaction but the type of question is so calculate the required moles of acetic anhydride acetic anhydride from product of x y z from product of x y z so the first one it requires only four moles it is further acetic uh, acetylation it requires only four moles now here it requires five moles why because it is penta acylated product now here the sorbitol it requires six moles of uh, acetic anhydride so the option is four five six so option number c is correct four five six now let's move on to the like uh, another question so that is a very easier question from organic reactivity of uh, carbonyl compounds okay now this is the uh, next question most reactive with uh, hcn hcn is nothing but nucleophilic addition reaction here nucleophilic addition on aldehyde so this is the reaction so nucleophilic addition on aldehyde it is uh, more reactive on the minus m group and minus i group so if system having the both minus m and minus i it is more reactive than that of the minus m plus i plus m minus i those kind of uh, like patterns okay now here it having the minus m so minus m minus i so those, those are the like minus m groups and minus i groups as well as mine here it is minus m and plus m groups simply it is minus m and plus plus m groups now here this is the minus m minus m minus i both are both are possible here minus m plus m groups are there minus m plus m groups are there so now here minus m minus i groups are, are two possibilities that is a and c but uh, among these two here the minus m group or minus i group which is destabilizes the aldehyde reactivity which is the destabilizes the aldehyde reactivity so b and c are plus m groups which are already destabilized towards the nucleophilic addition reaction that's why these two are eliminated so these two are eliminated now the question is a and c so among these two so here it is the meta position the meta position of a minus i group which is also destabilized so the final one is a so a is the correct option a is the correct option now let's move on to the another question the final question of the paper so find out the correct statement regarding to the this reaction this is the one of the compound which is related to the organic one which is treated with the hbr it gives the a followed by the koh it gives the b so the finally ozonolysis it gives the c so now this is the reaction okay now hbr that means h plus so the lone pair of oxygen which obstruct the proton and ring becomes open so here oh so here it is the positive so that means it is a steric strain so it becomes open so oh double bond group so now it gets whenever it is opened so here it gets the positive charge it gets the positive charge then followed by the like a koh on heating koh on heating it gets a, like a alkene it gets a, a, like alkenization alkene double bond formation 
So after getting the double bond formation, after getting the double bond formation, whenever it is treated with ozonolysis, ozonolysis is nothing but a, like a double bond, it gets a two oxygens, double bonds, it gets into two oxygens. So finally, this is the product, OH, double bond, double bond. So this will get a ozonolysis, we will get the like a phenol, which having the, this is the carbonyl compound, double bond OH, that is aldehyde. Now here, CHO, here it is the one CHO, here is also one CHO, and finally, methyl CHO. After the ozonolysis, they are given in the zinc, that indicates it gets reduced, it gets reduced, OH, CHOH, that is a type of benzoyl alcohol product. Okay, now let us check the options. Product A is, like it is, they are given in the dibromination, but product A, so here positive charge that gets the bromine, so it is only monobrominated product, but they are given in the dibromo product, that's why A is wrong. Now the product A is a dibromo product, which is adjacent positions, so it is also wrong, we will get the only monobromination. Okay, now finally, so the option number C, so product B is only monoalkylated product, but product B we will get the like dialkylation, dialkylation, that's why it is also wrong. Finally, product C is OH, CH2, that is phenol derivatives, CH2, OH, CH2, CHO, CHO, glyoxyl, formaldehyde derivative, formaldehyde derivative. So that's why, so among the four options, D is correct, D is correct. Okay, that's all for this video. This video contains uh, like a complete solution of uh, September 2nd uh, uh, first shift chemistry paper. So that is a completely solution of organic, inorganic, physical chemistry. Organic, inorganic, physical chemistry. Thank you so much for watching.